So they got up every early, very early in the morning. So when they got up, they would wake us up when I was in grade school. Children, get up, get up. My dad is so proud. He said he wants to see us not like we got. Wear our American clothes. We're going to an American school and learn ideas and education that he only dreamed of. So he will wake us up. Children, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. And you know, when I was in first grade, I'd get up like, Dad, why do you get up so early? You know, my father said to me, Son, it's great to be alive. He said, Don't you know our more people? We come halfway around the world, we left everything behind in us. We came across the Big Cone River. We saw dead people die along the way. Our villages were burned down. So we came to this country so you could have an education. Now get up. But Dad, the wind doesn't get it to 8.30. So what? Get up at 5. <laughs> and he wake us up. And my dad would say, when they didn't come, no, no, you have to be ready for success in America. Be ready to learn and do great things. But before you leave the house, children, so, so what they are, so you know, wash your feet, dust up out of your eyes, and comb your hair, and put the good clothes on, ask and check in the mirror before all my children, you leave the house, shut your ear, what they know, you die off, check in the mirror, then you check in the mirror, can you check in the mirror, you check in the mirror. <laughs> so I was well, about six years, seven years old, okay, I'll check in the mirror, I'll check in the mirror. No, I don't know about you guys, but after a while, I didn't like checking the mirror because after a while, I didn't like what I saw, Because right? <laughs> when I looked in the mirror, boys and girls, I realized, hey, my skin color at that time, we didn't, we weren't cool. we didn't have a huge school with a bunch of monk friends. It was just me and two other monk kids. So I looked in the mirror, and I just realized, hey, my skin color is different from most of the kids at our school. The shape of my nose and my eyes is different. My hair is dark black. Most of the kids in my school have brown or brown hair. We go to school, we speak English, or we come home, we speak porn. And when we turn on the TV, did we see any home families? No. We saw American families like the Brady Bunch, right? So I started to ask the question, hey, maybe we, we're not as cool as some of those other kids, the American kids. And we came in a town and no one knew about the home culture. And because some of the other kids didn't know about monk culture, they made a skill bag. They picked on us. They would say, go back to your country. You don't belong here. Some kids I, I would do this to make fun of us. But you won't know what that kid. Wait a minute. Thank you, Chinese, Chinese, Chinese. You know what? I think that. Wouldn't it be cool if I knew magic like Harry Potter? <laughs> and I had my little chopstick wand. And when they did that, I would cast a spell. You may think you're clever, but may your eyes be stuck like that forever! <laughs> that was scared of huh? <laughs> because Tunja Sean cast a spell on her, all right? So carry a little chocolate around, Kate, they're messing you, huh? <laughs> you know, outside of the playground, you know the teacher? When the teacher could not keep an eye on all of us because we're playing everywhere, when the teacher turned around, some of the other bigger kids, the bullies, you know what bullies are, they would come up, watch this. They would cheat us. Some of them would push us, some of them would beat us up. One day I got beat up again, and I was crying. The teacher said, young man, if you cannot stop crying, we might have to send you home. <laughs> so I cried now and <laughs> Where you to the 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 fish to Mom, it's good. We don't do anything to some of the other kids, but why would they pick on us and they call us names? That day, my mother said something to me that confused me, right? Even more. She said, I don't know what the You thought those American kids are picking on you, why? Because you're looking at them. She said, let me explain. When you walk by them, they can trip you and push you and hit you. If you stay far away, they cannot touch you, can they? <laughs> she said, you're both they call you names because you're looking at them. When you look at them, they, they, they know you're listening. That's why they call you names. Don't walk by them, son. Don't look at them and you'll be okay. <laughs> she said, son, you should be thankful. You have a second chance to live your life in a country where there's no war. 
If they spit in you, son, you have a big heart, you wipe it off. Son, you do good in school, you go about your business. Remember why we brought you to America. I looked at my mom and said, what? <laughs> and when I was younger, I didn't realize what my mother meant. But when he looked and said, oh, don't know? Guess what? I know what I was, my mother was trying to say. She was trying to say, me too, son. You are not responsible for other people's ignorance and their actions. I think it was her way of telling me, son, there is always going to be somebody or some group who will try to take away your pride and your dignity and self-respect. But don't let them take that away. Be proud of where you come from. Be thankful you have a second chance living life in America. You cannot fight with the fist, but you have to fight with the ideas and knowledge that you learned from school. But see, when we were little, we didn't make the connection, right? So, okay, we walked up the hall, if they walked by, oops, they're probably way, let them pass. If they look at us, hey, don't look at them, look at the ground. And for a long time, boys and girls, I didn't like going to school because the other kids at school said that I'm not an American, I'm the each junior guy. Because I don't have a cool name like Tom, Mary, Bobby, Sue, Mike, Joe, and Steve. And I don't have blonde hair, blue eyes. And my, my brother and I, we would try to be American, right? So the other kids can't make fun of us. We would try to speak perfect English so they cannot detect our accent and ask us where we came from. But we go to school without America. And then my brother and I, even when no one was looking, we would go like this and pinch each other's nose and pull it out so kids cannot call us back over, right? <laughs> but at home, my dad says, check in the mirror. You cannot change the color of your, the shape of your nose or your eyes. That is how you create and make you, son. The sooner you accept that about you are, who you are, the better off you are. So for a long time, I didn't like going to school because I was ashamed of being wrong. I loved to learn, but I didn't understand my own culture. And at the time, excuse me, they called us these names. Refugees. Refugee, when I think of the word refugee, I, I see people in dirty clothes running for war. Oh, no shooting on us! <laughs> they called us immigrants. When I think of immigrants, I see people coming to America through uh, these, these uh, packed like sardines, like, um, like thousands and millions of people coming together to America, going through Ellis Island. And they also called us, check this out, when I was little, they called us Aliens. <laughs> when I think of the word alien, I see this big headed green guy with the two big eyes, right? So that's not us. My father, when I was in high school, he taught me some things about our culture. Now let me tell you, in sixth grade, any sixth graders where you sitting? Okay, I realize me, me and mom is kind of cool too. Because I, I, I didn't like being mom when I was younger because I was ashamed of some things. We got, they had belt, belt to keep the pants up, we got lache, right? <laughs> they didn't understand that. But it's just our version of belt too. The kids come up, hey, that looks weird. Are you gonna do Kung Fu? Are you like a black belt? I say, you know what? I am 30 second degree pink belt. <laughs> I fight, but I don't really fight. Because I'm so fast, the pink belt means when they fight me, I go, I blind them and then run. <laughs> so there are a lot of things they don't understand about mom culture. And they would ask me, uh, mom people, are you guys like on the mountain? Uh, where are you from? And I remember at school when the teacher said, class, I want you to go home and ask your mom and dad where you were born. Which town? Which village? Which hospital? Or ask your mom and dad what time of the day you were born and come tell the school. So I was in second grade, I went home and I said to my mom, Me aunt and cool the big one, do not. <laughs> so my mother said, Call our shop. Mother Mami do a lot of chow chow. Legend up as a shina. Chow do chow day day yum. I know, I know, yum, no, they should talk chow chow. Cause you know, I just put a chow chow. So I wrote this down, but I translated it to English. So the day came when everyone got to share. I have a friend, he's American, the blonde, blue eyed, long skinny nose. His name is Bobby. Bobby comes up and Bobby says, 
Hi everyone, my name is Bobby Smith. I was born in St. Joseph.